So hi folks, Joy the Hustler here. Happy weekend. How is your job search going? I mean, like really, how is your job search going? You're on this channel because you're looking for a job or you're looking to switch out of the one you're in or you're just scoping me out here. So, you know, you got to really ask yourself the question, you know, are you getting any responses from those resumes you've been sending out? If you haven't been getting responses from your resume, like them asking you to come for an interview, then you got to consider a few of the things I'm going to talk to you about today. One is, is there something wrong with my resume? I mean, like really, you know, is there something wrong with it? Are there keywords missing in my resume? You hear about this whole applicant tracking system thing that all the resumes automatically go through and the applicant tracking system scans these resumes for keywords. If you're not meeting at least 80% of those keywords, then you get kicked out of the system. So you know, maybe your resume is missing those keywords. So I'm going to start posting uh, sample templates of these resumes in, 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 in my, on my website so you can leverage those templates. Because if you're missing those keywords, you, you know, through the applicant tracking system, then you're never going to even be get to that to that point where they actually call you for an interview. You got to pass through that hoop first. The, uh, the second thing you need to consider is, are you customizing your resume to fit the job? So a lot of these uh, systems, you know, like uh, recruiting uh, websites, they'll, you know, they'll tell you, you know, just post your resume here and we'll help you send them out as jobs become available. You know, they just kind of make it like this public one size fits all. And, and that's not that's not how you land a job. You have to customize your resume specifically to that job description. So there are things you're going to change around. There are keywords you're going to include in it. There are just words you're going to have to change around uh, in your resume to make it fit what they're asking for. The things you'll need to add or subtract to make it relevant. So you got to also ask that question, right? And then the third thing I'm going to say is, are you putting enough out there? So in a week, if you're looking, if you're not working right now, you got to ask yourself, am I putting enough resumes out there? Am I applying to enough jobs on a weekly basis? So if if you have time and you're not working another job and you really have the time on your hands, you could put out four resumes in a day. You know that, right? Like one resume every two hours, like spend the time customizing it, making sure you got the right keywords, fill out the application online and boom, send it off. So you got to ask yourself that too. And if you're not, then start. There's never too late. Let's let's put a yeah. as, let's cast our seed upon many waters. And you know, after some time, you know, so you will catch some fish there. All right. So in today's program, uh, today's video, I have got several opportunities for you guys. We've we've got opportunities in the travel and um, in the hospitality. Uh, sector. I've got part-time opportunities there. I've also got a couple of bonus jobs that I want to share with you guys today. So let's get right into it. So this, this first opportunity I have that I want to share with you guys is with American Express, Global Business Travel. So if you're looking to get into the travel industry, this is a good beginner-friendly position that they have out there, and it's called the Virtual Travel Counselor. And this is in the global services uh division of American Express. This completely virtual, it's 100% virtual, it's full-time position. And this is these are some of the things that they're looking for you to do. So as a global servicing travel counselor, you'll join their highly skilled remote team providing outstanding service to their corporate business clients. So those are the folks you're going to be working for. Corporate business clients, either individual, uh, corporate folks or groups, and you'll be scheduling travel for them. What you will do on a typical day, you're going to you're going to advise and arrange travel for them. You're going to conduct analysis and research on travel options, arrange domestic or international and international business travel for them. You're going to use Saber, and that's their global distribution system, and they definitely want you to have knowledge of that. You obviously need to have great customer skills, be professional uh, with these folks that you're working with because you're talking about, you know, mid-level to CEO type uh, folks who are looking to travel. These are the requirements, two years of corporate travel experience, two years of using that global, uh, that GDS system that I talked about earlier and Sabre, so that will need to be on your resume, uh, verbal and written communication skills, excellent customer service skills, knowledge of fares and ticketing 
uh, as well as around the world in complex fairs. So you can read through the entire thing. The hours are Monday through Sunday with flexibility to work between 7 a.m. and 11.30 Eastern. They will have full-time and part-time hours available on nights and weekends. So, you know, they're pretty flexible. They're looking for folks who've got that professionalism about them, who've worked in, in a corporate travel, you know, sector in the past. Just two years of that is what they're looking for. There's no educational requirement here. I think they're really just looking for that skill set. The pay here is $17 to $29 per hour. And you, as I always say to you guys, always shoot for the top of the limit, of the range, okay? Uh, obviously, they've got great benefits. You can click on that link to see all their benefits from all from their health and wellness to disability, life insurance, et cetera, et cetera. So they've got it all. A company like American Express is a great company to have on your resume, even for career ladder, career growth. I mean, mentioning that you've worked at American Express can land you a six-figure job. Like after working with them for, you know, who knows, six months, a year, you can definitely be commanding uh, top dollar after working in a place like this. So this is definitely one to consider and one to jump on. Again, I have already created the resume for this, for the virtual travel con counselor. Just go ahead and subscribe to my website website, you'll see it there. Right now, things on my website is free because it's in beta mode. So definitely enjoy those templates now. It's not always going to be free, but while it's in beta and we're building content, uh, definitely enjoy uh, those free resume templates for now. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to show with share with you another great position, and this is with Marriott. So Marriott International, they've got a position open right now. It's a part-time position. It's remote. Uh, and they, the position is for administrative ass assistant in their account sales department. And what you're going to be doing here is pretty straightforward. They want someone who's going to help them with administrative duties like entering and retrieving information from computer databases. You're obviously going to use your keyboard to type, to track, to record um, data in files, being able to answer inquiries from guests, transmit information or documents using a computer, email, fax machine, etc. And they, want, they also want you to follow all their company policies and procedures, ensure uniform and personal appearance are clean and professional. But again, the way this reads, it reads like someone who's working on site. I think they pretty much just took a copy of the admin assistant positions that they have on site and threw it into this. So um, while you definitely need to appear professional while you're on Zoom or any of their uh, virtual communication tools, that this is not, um, it's not worded for someone who's working in the virtual world. Okay. But the pay, the pay here is 18 to 26.91 per hour. So that's what you're looking for. The same thing I mentioned with the American Express position, the same thing applies to the Marriott position. Again, if you're looking to get into hospitality, looking to grow, this is a great company to grow grow with. They've got their 401k plan, stock purchase plan, discounts at Marriott properties, so many great benefits, childcare discounts um, for this position. So these are all things you'll need to consider for this admin assistant position in their account sales division. Again, part-time, remote-based, Go ahead and apply. I have a sample template resume out there for you that you can leverage and definitely use and take note of all those keywords so you can land an interview for this, okay? I want you guys coming back and telling me that you found jobs because your happiness is my happiness. Me putting out these videos, I want to see results. I want to see people finding those jobs, landing those great jobs and, and being happy about the jobs you're finding. And that makes me happy. It makes me think, wow, you know, my videos are actually making a difference in somebody's life, right? Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to share with you another position. So these are the bonuses I want to get into. So this position is for an assistant editor for, they, they want an assistant editor uh, for a newsletter that they do at uh, this company called Fragment Media Group. So this there's the, the name of the company is called Daily Dot. Right, but they're part of the Fragment Media Group and they're seeking an assistant editor to help craft, analyze, and write for its web crawler newsletter. And that's what really you're going to be doing. You're in charge of that newsletter, you take ownership of it. They want the ideal candidate to have experience writing and scheduling a newsletter, familiar with audience metrics like open rates, click through rates. So obviously, this is an online digital newsletter. Um, 
this person would have one to three years of writing experience at an, at an online media outlet, ideally. So again, that's preferred. And really what you really want to showcase here, and this is what they're looking for, a love for all things internet culture. So you want that to be all over your resume, how much you love social media, that you love the internet, one to three years of newsletter experience, uh, three years of uh, one to three years of uh, writing experience at an online media outlet, um, knowledge of newsletter best practices. Now, when they said online media outlet, again, you know, if you have a, a, a Facebook page or a YouTube page, um, Instagram, any of those, I would put those on there. You know, that would definitely qualify. Okay. I would put that on there as something you have experience in. And especially if you have followers, experiencing writing, editing, and plus strong understanding for grammar and punctuation. So obviously you, you need to know how to actually write. The good news is there's so many tools nowadays that can help us to, you know, check grammar, check punctuation, um, Grammarly, uh, there, there's this chat GPT. There's so many things that can help us to get through a lot of these things. Familiarity with email clients like Sail Through and SendGrind is a plus. So these are definitely tools you want to have on your resume. Whenever they say familiarity, just go and Google it, okay? Google it, find out how the tool is used, and guess what? You're now familiar with those tools, okay? Put it on your resume, okay? And then, you know, on this page, this is where you actually, you know, submit your application. I'll drop the link in the description box. So you can just go ahead and apply to this. They want you to put your resume in here. You can see here, they're asking for a cover letter. So you definitely want to include a cover letter. It's required. When you see that red asterisk, that's required. So make sure you include a cover letter with your application. This website, blog, blog or portfolio, I would even put like, you know, if you have a LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile, and, you know, put that in there. Even better yet, if you have something that you've written, like a newsletter you've written in the past, you can attach it right here, you know, attach that newsletter, then copy and paste your resume, you know, along with your cover letter or something. You can find a way to include all three of those things in here, okay? But if you don't have a newsletter you've written, but you have a website, a blog or portfolio you've written in the past, or your LinkedIn profile that pretty much is a blog about yourself, um, put that in here as well. Can you work weekends? Your answer should always be yes. I mean, if if because they're looking for the best person, the most flexible person, okay, you can always work out your hours once you're on the job, but you always want to appear to be the most flexible, the most accommodating person when you are applying for a job, okay? And go ahead and send out that resume. Again, I'm going to put a... Uh, sample template resume for you guys so you can see what this one looks like and the pay for this one is great the pay here i believe this one's calling for a rate of forty dollars per hour i mean this is awesome this is a great opportunity if you're looking to get into writing content writing copyright anything like that you know this is a great uh experience builder okay so and let's move on to the next position. And this one is with a digital marketing company called Langan Digital. And Langan Digital is a full stack marketing agency, digital marketing agency that helps businesses. He, this company helps a lot of seven figure, eight figure businesses come up with a marketing plan and execute on their marketing services. And they are looking for an assistant. So this person will be working virtually. So they're calling it really a virtual assistant, okay? They're seeking, seeking a virtual assistant. And what is this person going to be doing? This person is going to be, the successful candidate will have experience with assisting an entrepreneur, a coach, or startup, organize and develop processes. They will tell you what those processes are. You're going to audit their projects. Uh, they will tell you what to do, weekly plans of tasks for each project. So obviously someone who is organized, who has project coordination or project management type experience. I'm not talking about in a vast, like certified project manager or anything, but someone who's organized, someone who stays on top of things, um, on top of their schedule, on top of, you know, the tasks that they've been given. That's what they're talking about here. Experience with ClickUp or another project management tool where they were the owner of multiple projects and held team members accountable for deliverables. So they want this person to kind of be like the person that coordinates everybody, you know, uh, making sure like through that tool, they're coordinating people's work. So while they may not be the boss, 
they're the owner of the tool and they kind of just stay on top of what everyone is doing. You know, maybe when it comes to meetings, you know, they show the progress of everybody's work based on information in the tool. So, you know, you don't kill the sender. You just, you know, you don't, you just listen to the message, right? And they want this person again, real uh, admin type of skill set here, note taking during client calls. And one thing I usually do um, in my past, like when I had to take notes or, or minutes, and I even still do that even now, depending on what kind of meeting it is, I record it. Now, I know that in some states, it's illegal to record conversations. As long as you're not sharing it, you can record it for your own note-taking you know, purposes. And once you're done, delete them. Okay. Don't ever share it with anybody, but that helps. Like if you meet, if you miss something, you know, you have it recorded, you can just record it on your phone or record it. If you're the owner or the one facilitating the meeting, you can tell people in the meeting that you're about to record this and are they okay with it? And typically most people say they're okay, you know, and you can just go ahead and just use that recording to build your notes. Okay. Especially when you're learning on the job it's it's sometimes really hard to understand all the different ter terminologies and stuff like that so recording definitely helps for you to go back and just you know re-listen to everything that was said during the meeting you need to be experienced with these tools google suite slack zoom ClickUp. i mean who's not familiar with zoom and google suite for instance but slack you know, click up. You may not know about those tools. Once again, I'll see what I said to you earlier is Google these tools. Okay. So you can put them on your resume. You can test them out yourself. And guess what? Already you are experienced. Put it on your resume. Okay. This position is a W-2 position. That means you're going to be an employee of their company of Langan um, Digital. The position, it will be 20 to 25 hours per week, and it can grow to 30 hours. The rate is $25 an hour, which is not bad for an entry-level admin position, okay? They're looking for someone to become a long-term team member, three plus years. So it almost seems like, hey, let's start this person on part-time. We really love their work. We love this person and they're really adding value to us. Guess what? We're going to keep them for a long period of time. So this is a great opportunity to really showcase, you know, again, you're interested in what they're doing. You've read up on them. You can go Google them. So you're ready for your interview. Again, this position I will also have on my website, joythehustler.com. Uh, go ahead and, and subscribe there. I am going to include resume templates for you guys to leverage for these positions. That's what I have for you guys today. I hope you, I wish you better luck in your job search. I want you to come back in YouTube and I want you posting that you got an interview. Okay. And that's going to show that this is really working. So I want to see you guys put more effort into it. Definitely. If you need help, reach out through my website, joythehustler.com, and hopefully we can discuss more and I can help you guys out uh, wherever you need the help. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.